cutting back on the small property that I've talked about before, continuing to try to make improvements and, and make it hunt better and uh, try to hold more deer. I've got a pretty cool project today. I'm actually in an old creek bed right now and the main channel's just, I don't know, 50 yards away from where I'm standing. But this is just a dried up creek bed and a couple months ago it was full of water actually, but it's dried out now. Uh, there's not a lot of vegetation, but there's a little bit. So that's why I started started the day with spraying and give that Roundup a chance to chance to dry out before I actually spread the big and beastie in this spot. So kind of, again, have limited spots to plant food on this farm. So I'm trying to get creative with where I can. And this uh, old creek bed happens to be a, a pretty perfect spot. Two years ago, I actually planted the same spot and it turned out really, really well. I planted Big and Beastie here. It attracted a lot of deer. Unfortunately, I didn't get to hunt it a lot, but um, it turned out to be a really cool spot. So I know that it works to grow food down in this creek bed. The challenge today is since I've been in here last, which about two years ago, there's been a lot of fall downs, a lot of new trees. You can see them over my shoulder here. So I got my brother with me. He might hunt here a little bit this fall and we're going to basically take our time and, and chainsaw some of these trees up and push them out of the plot and hopefully by the end of it we still have some daylight left to spread the seed and then hope for rain after that but uh, really looking forward to seeing how this one turns out again just getting creative and trying to find uh, ways I can uh, put a little bit more food on this property and increase the amount of deer using it. All right, the seed is on the ground, and now we wait for rain. I'm not gonna fertilize this just quite yet because there isn't any rain in the immediate forecast, but when we do have a better chance, I'll come get it fertilized. But as long as we do get that rain at some point, this is gonna be such a cool spot. I can guarantee someone's gonna kill a deer down here. <laughs> 